here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share the information in this video with you. And I will say it is a series of outfits of the day, I call them, I guess everybody calls them that, over about a period of maybe two and a half weeks and they are spring outfits. However, this is spring in Kansas and early spring in Kansas and so some of it looks a little bit wintry but I've tried to keep the colors kind of spring-like and I will preface this by saying that I intend to buy a white backdrop and I intend to be able to show you a wider picture rather than the narrow ones you're going to see. But right now that is all I had to share with you. And in terms of taking outfit of the day videos and or pictures, it's kind of interesting because I always thought that was kind of a little too Instagram-y for me. I thought, why does anybody out there care what little Beth in Kansas is wearing today in terms of an outfit? But I started a wonderful new style program that I can't wait to share with you. And I will be sharing a couple of videos in the future about this wonderful program. And it is making a marked difference in how I look in terms of the clothes that I choose, the clothes that I wear on a daily basis. And it is even saving me money because it is a style program that helps you develop a capsule wardrobe with a classic style, clothes that really don't go out of style. And you can kind of tweak them a little bit and make them a little edgy, a little glam, a little sporty, whatever your particular style is, they can work for you. But I won't get into all the specifics about that video, but I will tell you that the reason I am taking these outfit of the day videos and pictures is due to one woman and her name is April and she has a YouTube channel called Stunning Style Society and a Facebook channel. I guess it's not channel. She has a Facebook page, in fact, several of them with several thousand people that are following along and following in her program. Like I think one of her Facebook pages has 5,000 people participating in her programs and her program is absolutely wonderful. But this is a look at April of the Stunning Style Society there she is, absolutely darling. And here she is in some of her outfits. And what she helps us do is she believes that style and fashion is something that you can learn. That you, you know, obviously fashion, there's a lot of it out there and a lot of it doesn't necessarily suit us, but she believes that there are some simple things that we can learn that can actually help us up our style game and look our best. And I have been following April and her program for maybe a couple of months now, maybe about six weeks, and I have already learned so much it is unbelievable. And I will tell you, although I couldn't find it right now, I will share it in one of the future videos I make about her program because I can hardly wait to share it with you. But there is a picture of her before she started the Stunning Style Society when she was still kind of a fashion, oh, I guess train wreck would be, would be the word. However, she didn't look any different than I did when I was trying all those years to be fashionable and trying all these trends and trying a lot of things that quite honestly did not suit me. But anyway, she went from that kind of a fashion no-no to perfectly put together. And as you can see, she is just stunning. And here is another look at one of her images, how to personalize your classic style with the stunning style wardrobe guides. And there she is in a variety of gorgeous clothes. And she offers style classes. And there is a free one, and it is called a master class. And I'll put a link below because that's a really good place for you to get started with her programs. And again, it is totally free. There's no obligation. But I learned a lot just from participating in one of her online master classes. And I won't go into any more details right now of her programs because they are extensive and I'm going to be doing two videos for you. In fact, if you'd like to see those videos, please put a comment down in the comment section below the video because I would love to know if this would be of interest to you. And basically the reason I am doing these videos that are outfit of the day videos and or photos is that I took her class called Perfectly Put Together. And it was a fabulous class. It is maybe like 10 or 12 modules and it comes with videos and all kinds of wonderful learning information. I learned so much about how to put together a beautiful classic wardrobe through participating in that program. But one of the things she said, and it's something I really took to heart, is that you can up your style game by taking pictures of yourself and seeing what really works for you. She says that mirrors lie and that we can look in the mirror. And, and I saw this cartoon of this guy and he was overweight, you know, in the cartoon, very overweight, but he looked in the mirror and he was Mr. Buff. And I realized that a lot of the time when I look in the mirror, I kind of think no matter what I'm wearing, I think, hey, I look pretty good. But she says pictures do not lie. 
and that it is very instructional for all of us to take a daily outfit picture or even a daily outfit video. And so that's what I've been doing and I have been learning a lot. And so that is what this video is. It's just taking you through some of my outfits of the day. So anyway, enough about April and stunning style. I'll get to that in future videos. So now let me show you my outfits of the day. Okay, this is my outfit of the day for today. And I got the top at ThreadUp. In fact, almost all the tops that I get, I get from ThreadUp. I just choose the brands that I want. Usually Banana Republic is great. This is a Banana Republic. I have a few other brands. I like Ralph Lauren. I like Ann Taylor, but not Ann Taylor Loft. I got an order in actually from clearance items on Ann Taylor Loft. The quality was terrible. I sent everything back. But anyway, okay, this is my outfit of the day and I have the Banana Republic shirt. And this is a Ralph Lauren belt that I got from Thread Up, actually. And I really like it because it's got the elastic band there, so it does fit. In a lot of cases, when I get a small belt, either it's too small or it's too large. And so the elastic really helps there, that elastic band. These are my Lees, I believe. I'll link them below but they are black skinny jeans. I absolutely love these. They're called slimming and they really do that. I really appreciate that. So anyway, that is my outfit of the day. Okay, here is my outfit of the day. And basically it's just a slim black turtleneck that I've had for a long time, a little nine west belt. And I like it because it's got the kind of elastic in the back. I always like those belts. It has a gold buckle. I have my Louis Vuitton purse on. And then I just have some black skinny fit jeans. They're Levi's and I got them on Amazon. Really like them. They fit extremely well. I think they fit most body types and uh, I like them because they don't bag and sag. And then I have some new boots on. I think they're Vince Camuto. I'm not sure, but I will link them below the video. This is my outfit of the day. This is my typical outfit formula for the spring, which is basically something on top, jeans and heels. I purchased some flats yesterday. I went to DSW. I had had them brought into the store so I could try them on before I buy them and I didn't like them. My feet are very wide and something about the flat shoes just does not really do me any good. It's really something. I just think I need a little bit of a heel. But anyway, this is a Banana Republic sweater. I got it on ThreadUp, but it was brand new. The tags were still on. It is kind of in a fuchsia color and I'm trying to wear more brights. In fact, this afternoon, I will be making a video about my color analysis that I had with Jill Why Not, and it was wonderful. And uh, if that video is already on my channel by the time this airs, I'll link that one below, but I'm really excited to share that info with you. And she's helping me get more colorful. And in addition to the sweater, I have my Levi's sculpting skinny jeans on, and I'll link those below. Those are some of my absolute favorites. They really fit very beautifully in the butt too, and I don't have much of a butt. Um, and this is my Michael Kors black purse, and I've been carrying that for a while. <laughs> I've not had the time lately to switch out purses, but it's fine with the black shoes. It, it works well. One thing I'm noticing too is I tried to buy some like red sandals to get ready for uh, spring and summer. And I just don't like color on the bottom. I really like dark colors on the bottom in terms of shoes, like a black, maybe a brown, mostly black, or a tan, something neutral. I don't know why. I just am having a hard time getting into colorful shoes and maybe it's not something that I like. And one thing I'm learning through this process of doing these videos, the outfit of the days, is I'm learning to ask myself what I like, not what's in style, not what's trendy, what I feel like looks good on me, and what I can tolerate, what I like to wear. Okay, this is my outfit of the day for Friday, and I'm a little more dressed up than I would normally be on a Friday. Usually we dress down for sure on Friday, but I do have a meeting this morning about 10 on Zoom, and so I have a navy blue blazer on. It's a Jones of New York blazer. I'll link something similar below. I've had it in my closet for a long, long time. Then I have just a simple gap tee. I'm wearing gold today, so I have a little gold necklace on here that I got from Etsy and some gold shrimp hoop earrings. And I am wearing my Teddy Blake bag, which I got recently and I absolutely love. I've worn it several times this week. Then I have Levi's 721 skinny jeans and I got these on Amazon and I will link them below. They're absolutely fabulous. They really fit you well. 
And then I have some navy blue suede booties, kind of an almond toe there. So that's just a little simple, business-like looking outfit. And I am so glad it is Friday. Okay, this is my outfit of the day. And I got this blue Banana Republic sweater from ThreadUp. It was new with tags, so I knew it would be a good, good one. And I really do like the color and the stripes. I have my statement necklace on, which is probably from years ago. But I really do like that because I think it's still nice to introduce the black from my jeans up here. Actually, my jeans are dark wash jeans. And these are a wonderful pair of ankle length jeans from Old Navy. And I think they were $22 on sale. That was a good tip I got from a friend of mine at a certain point. She said, I know where to spend my money and jeans is not one of the places. I do like Old Navy for jeans a lot for that reason. They do have great jeans and they're reasonable. This is a Furla purse that I got from eBay. I love Furla just because my husband and I went to Italy and we discovered that brand. And uh, I thought it was too small because my stuff is really stuffed in there. But Alan said he really liked that size better on me because I'm not a huge person and I tend to carry huge purses. I have shoes on, which are shoes that I've had for a long time. And they are basically just kind of ankle booties for the spring. And I really do like these. They were really in style a few years ago. I'm not sure they still are, but I still do like them. And then I just have some David Yerman jewelry on. And again, I used to sell David Yerman jewelry on eBay. So I really do like it. I think it's pretty and goes with pretty much everything, which is wonderful. Okay, this is my outfit of the day. And actually it's very similar to something I wore earlier in the week, which is a red Banana Republic sweater and some jeans and the same shoes that I had on then. But basically I changed the outfit just by adding a scarf. I'm kind of learning about scarves and I really do like them. And I like the fact that they bring color up around your face. I probably need to change this a little bit. Oh, I kind of screwed it up. Oh well. But I think scarves are nice, and we all have about a zillion of them in our closet. And so if you would like to add some color to a kind of dull outfit or a very classic outfit, I think you ought to go to your closet and pull out a very colorful scarf. This is my outfit of the day, and it is for Saturday. So it's very casual. It's just a little Ralph Lauren shirt and just some little booties. I think these are Vince Camuto booties and then just my Levi's skinny jeans, which I really like. But that's just a little casual kind of get around town, go do grocery shopping. Actually, my son is in town, which I'm so excited. We're spending the day together. It'll be wonderful. But anyway, that is my casual outfit for the day. Okay, now one of the things I bought was these PJs and I went to Marshall's today. I realized in looking at my pajamas in my closet, they are super ratty and super old and I really needed some new ones. Well, anyway, I went to Marshall's and you can't try things on there because of COVID right now. So I had to buy, I bought three pairs. I had to bring them home and try them on. I always like my PJs to be kind of loose. And so although I normally wear a small or an extra small in normal clothes, I decided to buy mediums in the PJs. One medium was huge and I'm going to take it back and exchange it. But this one I really like. I love the animal print and it is super comfy and cozy. I wish you could feel it. It just feels wonderful. And look, it's got a cute little hoodie thing in back, kind of like a sweatshirt. And it really doesn't feel like it's going to be too hot. It just feels soft and cozy and comfortable. It has an elastic waist, which I always love. And then the legs are really, really long, which is good because PJs tend to shrink in the dryer. So I'm just super excited about that. And one more thing, I will urge you to do this too. I am making myself do this and I hope you will too. This is a pair of really, really old ratty, ratty PJs. They have little reindeers on them. And uh, my husband has seen them probably almost every winter night, at least many winter nights over about three years. And it is not attractive. It is quite ugly. It is baggy, but in a bad way. And I'm going to go ahead and pitch these tonight before I change my mind because the new rule is one new thing in, one old thing out. Okay, this is my outfit of the day for Saturday and I'm sure it confuses the heck out of you. I was not going to show you this, but then I thought, heck, it's showing you my real life. And my real life is that my husband and I have had rental houses for years. And so I'm used to helping him out on those and I look pretty terrible. Well, my son Dylan and his wife just bought their first rental and we're kind of being mentors for them and helping them out. And one of the things we're doing 
is helping them get it ready. And so I am going over to Melanie and Dylan's house to paint. I painted last weekend with Alan. We were all over there working on their house and Alan does more than just painting. He's pretty good at construction. I'm really not. I'm a good painter and a good cleaner. That's what I do. But anyway, so this is my outfit of the day. And for those of you who do home improvement and are as messy as I am, just get one outfit, put it in the side of your closet, hang it up, and then every time you need to get grubby and do a home improvement project, you'll have something to wear. Okay, this is my outfit of the day, and it is just a Ralph Lauren, very tight-fitting black turtleneck, and I really like that it has this band of gold kind of metallic here and on the sleeves. It just sort of emphasizes your waist, which is nice. And then I have a pair of just black jeans from Old Navy. Uh, I have worn these for years. I will put a link down below the video to them. These are probably four years old. They're really old. And then I just have my Louis Vuitton purse, one of them. I have two that look very similar. The other one has the checked print, and this is the traditional print. I am going to be carrying this for the next three days because my closet is being painted. And so I don't want to switch out purses every day. But anyway, this is a look at my outfit of the day. And it's just very casual and very comfortable. Good morning, everyone. This is my outfit of the day. And for me, this is really unusual. I haven't worn a skirt probably, I don't know, a couple of years anyway, two, three years. And I had my skirts in my closet, smushed in there with all of the other stuff before I cleaned my closet. In cleaning out my closet, I actually tried on every item before I put it back in my closet, and my closet is now very neat and tidy. And I, of course, found my area of skirts, and I have beautiful skirts, most of them black, but I have some red ones and some a little more colorful ones. I have a black and white one, which is really cool. But I love pencil skirts, and so they're all pencil skirts, and on my body type, that's the best for me. Um, but I decided to start wearing them. That is the beauty of cleaning out your closet, is that you find things that you can put into your wardrobe and really get some active use out of. This is an express skirt, and it's just, you know, very, I don't know if you can see, you probably can't, but it is a knit skirt, which is just totally comfortable, and it is in a size small. I'm noticing that most of my clothes are a size small or extra small, two or four, somewhere in there. Um, and then this is just a Chico's belt that I've had for a long, long time sitting in my closet. That was another thing. My closet clean out, I cleaned out my belts and got rid of a few and put the silver ones on one rack and the gold ones on another one. So I can really pick and choose a little better than when they were all like crazy jumbled mess. And I have not been changing out my purse recently just because I've had crazy busy evenings and uh, this Louis Vuitton seems to kind of work with this. So anyway, there is my outfit of the day, and it is out of my comfort zone, but I'm really enjoying this skirt. It's super comfortable. Okay, this is my outfit of the day, and I'm not sure I absolutely love it, and that's part of what I'm doing these outfit of the days for, is to teach myself what I really like to wear and what I don't like to wear. I'm not sure I like the blousiness, but anyway, it's a Banana Republic shirt, and I just have it kind of bloused out there. And I think that's a Ralph Lauren belt that's patent. And then my Levi skinny jeans, which I really do like those jeans. And then I have some blue suede booties on. I don't know the brand, I can't remember. <laughs> Pulled it out of my closet. And then I just have my black Michael Kors purse. Hi, this is my outfit of the day. I think this will be my last one because I've had quite a few in this video. Actually, I'm going to a funeral today, so that's why the black dress. I did add a little bit of a leopard belt. I think it's Michael Kors leopard belt. It's brown, but it doesn't really bother me. And then I have, again, that little Michael Kors purse that I've been wearing a lot of because it has the gold tone hardware. And I have a gold bracelet on. I'm trying to get used to wearing the gold, the uh, yellow gold, I guess. And I have the yellow gold earrings on and a gold ring. It's a ring that I've had since the 80s. In fact, I used to love that ring and I wore it all the time. It was actually the center band and then I had the two bands added on the outside years ago. It's very strange to be back in yellow gold again, but it is really my color, much more than the silver. So I'm trying to get used to it again. I wore only yellow gold in my 20s and 30s and you probably did too if you're my age, I'm early 60s. 
because I remember that when I got my wedding ring, I was so excited to get yellow gold because all of our moms still had the white gold or the platinum from the 50s. So anyway, I'm trying to get used to yellow gold again, and I really do like it. Um, also, my hair is yellow, so it tends to match my hair. So anyway, that is my outfit of the day. And please let me know in the comments section if you'd like to see more outfits of the days. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.